Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you project lead gameplay, its game modes and talk for a few minutes about the game, how it looks, how it works and all that. As I got an invite into this early test of the game. I don't care about the controversies surrounding this project or actually the people who work on it or finance it as I played this for free and I'm not going to talk about it. Watch the other billion videos about this topic. It's sus, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, watch this until the end if you want to hear my recommendations. The disclaimer is pretty self-explanatory already. I expect bad or missing sounds and animations. <laughs> I enter some sort of lobby. From that one, you can go start a raid, check your health and inventory, trade, you get mails, weekly challenges, and even have a map. Oh my god, a map of the lobby. Finally, a few developers that know how to implement a map in their game. The traders remind me of Tarkov. <laughs> Three games lately that are after Tarko's audience, am I right? I've played Grey Zone Warfare already and I don't think that one is a Tarkov killer yet. In video settings I turn everything on ultra, spoiler alert here, I don't think this game looks so good, not as good as I expected by watching promo trailers and the options in the menu anyway. In the lighting conditions I spawned, I didn't have a chance to see much global illumination or lighting, but the foliage is quite bad in my opinion. Ooh, but the weapons look slick. I can see whoever modeled and textured this uh, knows his or her stuff. PBR materials with good wear and tear on the diffuse textures and high res normal maps. Yes. The roughness maps could use some work though. This screen reminds me of Tarkov also. The there are a lot of attachments, I have no idea how many are in the game by this point and I'm not going to spend my starting money on them right now. Let's see what else do we have here. Some cool iron sights, optics, all kinds of rails, grips, handguards, muzzle devices, butt stocks, etc. Everything is well modeled and textured and they affect the stats of the weapon. Nice. So what do we have here? Damage, range, rate of fire, muzzle velocity, handling, vertical and horizontal recoil, spread... Yeah, the usual. And of course we have skins. It's pretty cool, you can put it uh, on the pistol grip only or the buttstock or the main body of the weapon. What I like the most is there are only normal looking camos. I appreciate the realistic looking pool of camos, to be honest, as I dislike pink or lime skins in these kinds of games. Not that I have anything against those colors, far from it, but yeah, you, you know what I mean. Nicki Minaj uh, skin comes to mind. Now ammo. Well, as I don't have a clue what's better, I take some ammo that matches my weapon and my weapon's caliber and call it a day. You can't split the stacks though. You can only take bullets one by one. <laughs> oh my god. For the entire stack. Yeah. Uh, well, this sucks. There's a shooting range in the lobby and the traders... And you, you can access the traders from the menus also. So I have no idea why the redundancy. But I guess it's 2024. Every game must have a stupid lobby by now. I'm hating, I know. I, I can see this lobby being useful. So, never mind. Anyway, what caught my eye was the Start Marauder Run. I guess that's like, like a scav run in Tarkov, but with no time limit. <laughs> nice. With no cooldown, I mean. <laughs> Nikita. Someone is taking notes. Only a level 2 though. Weakling. Ah, I, lo I love to see it. I load into one of those scav runs. Uh, apparently it's like Tarkov. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Uh, you spawn with ra random gear on you. I hope. At least I hope. I'm not spawning with this freaking shotgun every time. I suspect if I shoot one of these scavs, they become aggressive, right? I'm not uh, I'm not even going to test that. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the case. I'll not comment about the animations or the lack of animations or the sounds. Yeah, just so we are clear. But I'll comment about graphics, as I'm an environment artist and graphics matter to me. First off, the scale of some objects within the world are very bad. The forklift to my right is huge, while the tracks on the left are toys. What the hell. Also, the dirt on those is way too excessive in my opinion. There are some 
missing textures, but it's okay. This will get fixed for sure because it's in your face, you know. I think I meet another player here. We beat around the bush for a bit, then I do the wiggle. <laughs> the wiggle who killed Tarkov to comfort him and we end up not shooting each other. Nice. Then I go straight to an extraction point and get out with the stuff. Only to see how much money it is. Well, it's not too much. But in all honesty, I didn't even did much as I went straight to the extraction. So yeah, it's okay. Time for a real raid this time. An ex uh, sorry, an ex expedition. Wink, wink. And we have missions, nice, uh, and as I'm solo, I think I want to fill my group with bots. But then they are so expensive, I hope they worth it. Remember the $200 I made in that scav run? That doesn't buy me even half of one of these, one of these guys. They better be good. I wonder if, if you get to hire them each ride or not. We'll see, I, I guess. Loading in, I'm happy to see the map as a map. Nikita Spy will rest assured, this game is nothing like Nikita, Tarkov. No sane person would leave that awesome and hardcore experience for this. It's 2024. This year humanity's pacification will be complete with these kinds of uh, features in, in games. Jokes aside, my cursor on that map is a hot mess. For some reason, devs thought it's a good idea to see the orientation of each NPCs on top of each other. I say just replace those arrows with colored dots and leave the arrow only for myself. Or just, I don't know, make them smaller or something. I'll resist and not talk about weapon sounds, as I said. Even if I want to, I, I will not do it. Oh, nice with Alt plus left click, you, you transfer loot into your backpack. If you open the inventory, you can see the items in your close proximity. Oh my god, this is so nice. I like this. In The Last of Us, I think it was like this. While I loot like a goblin, my guys are starting a firefight because why not? They better not die, though. Time marks. Ooh, when I find this uh, AR 15, nice. After I loot it, I'm a bit confused because it doesn't show in my inventory until I close and reopen it. Yeah, so it's a refresh issue. With B, you can give a few basic commands to your NPC buddies. I kept them on aggressive most of the time and I no idea what those formations do. As I don't have any preview or anything, and the AI seems a bit dumb anyway. Formation 1 it is. Let's go. Ooh, I like that ricochet sound. But look at my guy. <laughs> Everyone is standing in the open like, I don't know, scarecrows. Get to cover, duck, do something. After a while, I noticed extraction icons appeared on the map. Nice one. I like the vegetation in this, the ground vegetation that is. No idea if the NPCs can see through it, like in Grey Zone Warfare or not. I think I saw a Marauder key in my stash, so I should get that. Ouch. Ooh, I get shot. No, happily my marks get aggro somehow, and, and I'm pretty sure by this point I, I'm uh, I'm fighting another NPC because a player would I don't know not not stop uh, shooting me until I die. I like the over the top impact FX on the bullets, by the way, because you can clearly see your enemies. If 
if two people fight, you see when the the general area where the bullets hit, you know. There you go. I, I suspect all these are scavs, right? Even scavs have dog tags in this game. The AI is pretty oblivious until you shoot them. Look, 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 look. I like it though. I Even I can drop them. It's okay. And I think my gun gems or something. Nice. Like the armor plate gameplay, it makes a lot of sense to swap these around. No idea why more games don't implement this mechanic. As I don't have any idea how to get to the roof of this building uh, to the extraction point. I decide to go east towards the one on the shore. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, those are those are anomalies. I knew I had strong stalker vibes in this game. Anyway, I reached my extraction point with no incidents and managed to extract with what I found. I'm curious if the marks stay with me for the next raid or not. So, yeah, it's not viable to hire four of them each time because you extracted a loss. Good to know. Cool game if you are into extraction shooters. I wouldn't buy into the alpha though because there are better alternatives for now. I quite like the mercenary system. It's good for people who are lone wolves like me. And I like the loot variety. Compared with Grey Zone Warfare, it's in a good place on that front. The game is way more casual compared with Tarkov. Only with the group mercenary systems and the addition of uh, maps make me want to play it over that one. Do not have maps in a time where I can't imagine soldiers going into a war zone without a GPS. Yeah. The game as easy is not worth the 70 bucks. So I don't recommend people buy into this alpha. The 29.99 version, sure. And you have access to a hopefully more polished experience. A couple of months go by very fast when you develop games, you know. So I don't think we'll see many improvements when that alpha releases in a few months. There is a lot of uh, there is a lot to polish here. Sounds, animations, the AI, even graphics needs a lot need a lot of work. But hey, you saw what I saw, right? The game has potential and it has some unique elements that would justify your attention, I think. Thank you for watching, drop a like if this helped you in any way so others might see it also and stay safe. Until next time, see ya.